Hi, my name's Josh and I'm a surf instructor here at Rise Up Surf. In this short video we're going to be talking to you a little bit about how to cross step. Now cross stepping is best performed on a traditional single fin longboard. When we take a look at the bottom contours of a traditional single fin longboard, we find the back third is rolled, the middle of the board is actually flat and the front of the board has a deep concave. Now when we break this down, the back of the board or the roll allows us to make pivot turns. So what I mean by that is swing the nose around the single fin. The middle of the board is flat to allow for speed and trim and the front of the board is concave to create an air pocket to allow the board to nose ride. Now flipping the board the other way, we can take a look at the rocker. We notice at the back of the board there's a very accentuated tail rocker. Now this is to create leverage when the curl of the wave breaks on the back of the board to push the nose up, helping with nose riding. The middle of the board is once again very flat in terms of the rocker and we see a slight nose rocker at the front of the board to ensure that the board doesn't nose dive. So when we pop up and are looking to perform that pivot turn, it's very important we're back over the roll of the surfboard, right back over the fin. So we've got that roll in the back third of the board to allow that board to turn really nicely. So unlike a traditional thruster, a traditional single fin longboard doesn't have hard rails or three fins. So we can't actually generate speed through manoeuvres such as a carving turn. So what we have to do instead is pivot the nose of that board around the tail. So swinging that board to make a directional change. Now if we perform a very good and efficient pivot turn, we're going to find that our single fin longboard naturally migrates to the top third of the wave. So we're going to take off on our wave, perform a pivot turn, that board's going to naturally migrate to the top third of the wave. So positioning on the wave is really the key to the cross step. If we're too far out in front of the power pocket, then that board is going to nosedive. If we're not high enough up, not in the top third of the wave, then that board is also going to nosedive. So it's very important that after performing that initial pivot turn, if we don't find ourselves in this position on the wave, that we adjust the board's speed to do so. So what we can do is perform that pivot turn and let's say for example we found we're too far out on the face of the wave, i.e. not in the power pocket. We lean back on the back foot, put the brakes on, bring that board back to the power pocket and then make our cross step. So once again it's really, really, really crucial that we're in this top third power pocket section of the wave. Our weight is moving further forward on the board and what's going to happen is the curl of that wave is going to break on the aforementioned tail rocker to provide leverage and help to keep the nose up when we're nose riding. Ideal conditions for performing the cross step are going to be waist to chest eye waves. We want a gentle offshore breeze, nice clean wally conditions, no sloppy onshore surf for doing the cross step. We're going to take off on a really nice wave, preferably on our forehand, as cross stepping on the backhand can be a lot more difficult. So we're going to perform that pivot turn, step one. Step two, wait for that board to migrate to the top third power pocket part of the wave. If we don't end up there, we're going to either stall or accelerate to make sure we're in the correct position. Step three, we're going to make our cross step. So we're going to cross step from the rolled part of the board to the flat part of the board. If we think back to when we analyse the bottom contours of a longboard. So we've stepped forward, right foot over left, and we step back, left foot behind right. We hope you found this short tutorial video useful. Stay tuned for the next instalment. To keep up to date with all the happenings here at Rise Up, please check us out on social media.